Good morning, good morning. So, we are leaving our hotel because they're full, <laughs> not by choice. It's been a really nice stay. The people here, I say the rooms are pretty simple, but the people here have been absolutely lovely. There's a great little restaurant next door. Give a shout out to it, Hot Mass, very good. Um, but we are, Michelle's just sorting out in the lobby there. We are heading to that hotel that we saw yesterday. We just, we don't know what it's like inside. We couldn't get in and actually see the rooms, but it's got moder moderately good reviews. And uh, well, you're gonna find out with us. Let's get going. There's a storm brewing, isn't there? Huh? So the grab is here. Take us down to uh, the new place. Hello. Bags are in. And we are ready. So we're not going very far. And there is the hotel. Bright green. I forgot it was bright, bright green. Like I say, if we'd have rocked up at that place, we probably wouldn't have stayed, would we? I don't think so. Um, the rooms are really basic. Um, and I mean, when I say basic, a little, little, uh, very worn. But we end up staying there, you know, quite a few days because the, the staff were really nice. Oh, really it, good. Yeah, and quite bearable. Quite bear. I mean, bear great places to eat. And we would have stayed this weekend as well, but they threw us out. <laughs> uh, the lovely Sarah and uh, Noor. Actually, thank you to Sarah's mum for sending us some lovely cookies as well. So. There's a real storm in the air. Michelle, say good morning to everyone. Good morning, everyone. There's a real storm in the there air, is, isn't there? Yeah. So let's go and check out this hotel. We came here, we came in yesterday, we didn't show you, because the, the lady didn't want to show us a room. Okay, so we just beat the storm. It's coming in. Just starting to rain. Do you want to say something? I was going to say, you've seen the pot noodle machine outside. Michelle, this is, there's a pot noodle machine outside. Uh, there is as well. Look. Pot noodle machine. Oh, it's got more. It's got drinks in as well. And actually, it's got no pot noodle in it. No pot noodle. How odd. There's pot noodle on the side. Oh, I suppose actually you can come around the side somehow and the door opens. So it's got a lift, which is which is an upgrade on the last place we saw. <laughs> a lift. We were on the second floor in that place we too. We were on the second, but a really steep yeah. stairs which was a pain in the backside, to be honest, every day when we came back, but... Uh, I think the third floor has a gym. <laughs> ah, I did hear someone say that the noise from the gym above them was a bit... Oh dear. Never read the reviews. I know we do read the reviews, but uh, let's find our room. Okay, so nice, it's quite a modern looking hotel compared to what we're used to. What number are we, Michelle? 209. 209. Oh. Mm, not much light. No, but the curtains are closed. Okay, let's draw back our room. Oh, wow, we have got a window. <laughs> window and a half. <laughs> window and a half. Small bathroom, but uh, modernish. How well the. You get your remote and your wife. Little place to hang your, hang your washing up there. It's got one of those. Um, one of those lines. Like those lines. Michelle likes these. We'll, un we'll unscrew that and take that with us. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a, it's a good sized room. Probably bigger than the, the room we had before. It's bright, it's clean, it's got it's a clean, it's sort nice. of desk which I can use, which is perfect. <laughs> we're happy, we're happy. We've got a, a few days and although there's a big main road outside there, that window's pretty solid, isn't it? It's, I can't hear anything at the moment. Michelle and I, we're gonna take a walk down this little street. Now it's interesting, on the corner there, we watched them set up, uh, they rocked up in this, like a bicycle, an old lady and an old man, they've set up the little food stall doing charcoal tiao, and within minutes of them setting up, people were ordering. So they must have had, they've been there, how long would you say they've been there? Half hour. Half hour? Yeah. They've done about maybe six to eight orders. Yeah. The grab driver said, as we pulled up, he said, this is, Chinese, all Chinese, he said down here. He didn't say Chinatown, but he said, ah, uh, oh, man. But he said, uh, it's all Chinese down here, so I don't know whether it's Chinatown or what. 
They're doing the fried. Um... Hello. Hello. This is sweet. Is it with red bean? Uh, red bean. Dish. This is red bean, and this one? This, uh, Just nothing, nothing. plain, plain, yeah, okay. with sesame. What's the name? Uh, Ham Ti Ping. Ham Ti Ping. Ham Ti Ping. Ham Ti Ping. Okay, so the guy's got some corn flour here, sesame. He's cutting it, cutting up these Ham Ti Ping. The long ones and fry them. Ah, they're yeah, doing the long sticky. ones. <laughs> ah, so this one's for here, yeah. yeah? Wow. And he's got the red bean paste at the back there. And so watch this, look at this. Little pinch together. These are almost like the, the Vietnamese. Um, is this sweet? Honey, honey. With honey, oh, okay. Honey, honey. Oh, wow. With a honey or, or honey sugar. How much are these? How much? 120. 120. Can I get uh, two pieces hot? Okay. Thank you, man. Yeah, not here. Yeah. Okay, just hold that a minute, Michelle. I think we'll get a couple of these to try. They look good. They look very good, actually. Thank you. Oh, we've got to try these. They're like a little, maybe, sweet donut. We've got ourselves a little donut. Ooh. <laughs> Oh. That was a napkin I was going to get you. Too hot. <laughs> mm, mm, that's hot. Sweet. Delicious. Like a very lightly sweet donut. That's what I reckon. Ah, but not too sweet. Not too sugary. Michelle, you're going to love that. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit though. Mmm. A nice hot. Oh, a good hot. Not oily at all. So the oil was nice and hot because they puffed immediately, didn't mm. they? It didn't take long to cook. Almost too hot to, to hold. I can't even hold it with my, my fingertips. It's so hot. The lady here is doing the fruit as well. Look, pineapple, melon, papaya, watermelon, honeydew melon. Wow. I think here he's maybe doing charcoal tiao. Yeah, char so this guy's doing charcoal tiao. To be honest, Michelle, I think we should sit and have a drink. I'm going to go back and get some of those donuts. I think once Michelle tries them, she'll know what I mean. So we've rocked up into a little food court here. We're going to stop. I, I'm not doing a lot of the sort of filming, eating everything sort of videos at the moment. This is more exploring the area. So we're going to order some food. I'll tell you what we've ordered, but we're not going to do the eating. Um, let me know what you think about that in the comments. But this place looks really good and it's busy, busy for this time of day. Okay, so I've got Michelle an orange and apple juice, and I've got a, a lemon and plum juice. Oh, the sour plum? Sour plum, yeah. So, so really nice. Oh, so this one I think is about five ringgit. This one is about two ringgit fifty. So a little bit difference in price. I think the oranges are a little more expensive, but doesn't that look delicious? That's what I wanted, tart, tart flavours. How is that, Michelle? Oh, that's good. Really good? That's good, very good. Very nice. And they've, uh, she recommended that I try the soya with the gra uh, grass jelly. Um, I just wanted something really citrus at the moment, but I might try that a bit later on. Same store, but in a different location. It's, it's sort of on the left side. This is a teriyaki salmon, and this is fried salmon, and a little bit of, uh, she's also given me a little mayonnaise. I thought it might be quite nice to go with the, with the salmon. Very intrigued to try this. Um, so it's a deep fried salmon in a, maybe a tempura batter. That's good. And this here is a teriyaki salmon. It's a lovely bits of salmon. Lemongrass on there, do you think, Michelle? We'll soon find out. Mm. Now it's on the bone. I don't know if you can eat these bones. Mm, no, there's a lot of bone on that for me. So I'm, I'm a little disappointed. It's great flavour, but it means you don't get a lot of meat. I was hoping it was going to be nice, sort of like fillets of salmon. I don't know why. Five ringgit, what can you expect? 
There's beautiful charcoal tea out there, which would have been absolutely delicious. And there's loads of other dishes. I'd say what we bought for 10 ringgit, that was just a lot of, uh, a lot of bone. But you know, the lady was sweet. We, we went for it. The drinks are good. What's that? It's homemade here. It's soya bean and tofu pho. Tofu pho? I think that's what you said. Where'd that come from? <laughs> um, the lady bought it. So it's homemade here. Ah, okay. Look, just as I'm grumbling about <laughs> the fact that this is all bone, she's sweetly brought us over a nice bit of soy ice cream. That they make here. Mmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Delicious. And it made up for the, uh, the teriyaki, um, which was my fault, I should have asked. <laughs> it's got an ice cream now. That's the way it should be. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. nice, isn't it? Yeah. Nice with yeah. honey yeah. and um, you get the real tofu flavour come through, but it's like bean curd flavour. Yeah, yeah, it's really delicious ice cream. Yeah. I like the guy crossing the road. He's got his hand up. <laughs> I'm getting over, whether you like it or not. Um, we always come at the wrong time, really. This is not. We're a little bit early. People are starting to prepare for food. Literally, they were just setting up as we arrived. But the sun's still quite hot. So I think it will open up more in the, in the evening time. Yeah. Let's have a little look in this place. So yeah, oh, it's quite a big fruit market. Papayas, gold papayas and... Hello. How much are these a box? Uh, 18 ringgit. 18 ringgit, huh? Are they special grapes or like special or just normal or...? Uh, normal but I think quite tasty. Re high, high grade, yes? Mm. Uh. Crunchy and sweet. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Mangosteens, mangoes. I saw some little tiny apples about this side. They're called strawberry apples. Where? In the fridge over there. With the ah, OK. Out. Go and have a look. Strawberry apples. apples are a bit small. He's got also a box. I don't know if I actually... Um, I don't think I was filming, but he's got some boxes of figs here. And they're local figs. So these ones are from Malaysia. Yeah. Six figs, 20 ringgit. Um, and I was just explaining to the guy that they're, they're basically the, they're the female fig because they have a, a small wasp that goes inside at the bottom of the fig. I won't go into the full details, it might gross you out, but there's actually a wasp in pretty much every fig, I think. Oh wow, strawberry apples. I thought they were little apples. <laughs> strawberry apples. We should get some fruit. So shall I tell you a little bit about the fig? We're going to go back up. I think let's go back up and get some donuts and go back and okay, get in the yeah. call. I think the storm's coming out. Black cloud. Is there a black cloud again? So let me tell you a little bit about the figs. There's a fig wasp that pollinates the fig and it, it goes inside the male fig and then goes into the female fig and it dies inside or, or it stays and it, it yeah no it dies inside the, the female fig after it's pollinated and then a symbiotic goes on. The actual wasp itself is absorbed by the fig. Uh, so when you actually eat your figs, that wasp is in there, but you, it's not a wasp anymore. It's a bit like if you eat something in your stomach, you know, it eventually it absorbs into the body. So these, uh, they're absolutely necessary for figs to survive. I can't explain the full process. So, so is that why I think figs are gritty? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's the seeds, Michelle. The wasp itself, it completely degrades down inside. This is going to put people off figs though, isn't it? But without the, the fig wasp, you can't have figs. So interesting little fact. Uh, you can double check it for me. I'm pretty sure I have all sorts of nonsense up here. So everybody says Sungai Patani is not a place to visit, but what? there is so much good food and good people here. It's madness, madness to say not a place to visit. There isn't the great tourist attractions here, but there are donuts and we want some. Ah, hot ones. You were coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's making some more.
And round again. <laughs> Thank, you Thank you very much. Oh, and the rain's just starting to come. Man, this place is food everywhere. Okay, the rain's starting to come. We end up getting five donuts. We're going to go back to our room. We could sit out here. Oh, look, this is Nazi Lamakia. What is tea? I am? I am. It's a lot egg. Egg? This one, uh, anchovies. Ah, just anchovies, biles, biles. And tea is for egg, kalok. Kalok. Oh, okay. And how much this is? Just one ringgit. What, just one ringgit, yeah. huh? All item is one ringgit. This we call a uh, pulat udang. Pulat udang, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, rice, like sticky, sticky rice. rice. Beautiful. Pulat udang. Ah, and you're doing satay also. Yeah. Everything is Everything one ringgit. Is Tomorrow's food sorted. <laughs> okay. We we'll come get chicken. I am. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. Look, 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 look. God, I love the chicken. God, I love the I am. We are racing the storm. The rain, when it comes down here, it comes down heavy. But luckily, <laughs> we're only about 500 feet from our hotel. Our new hotel. Which... Now, it's interesting because our hotel room is that big window there is our room. So you we can were just sat watching. we were sat on the edge of that bed looking out, we must have looked like a pair of pillocks. <laughs> like you'd sat in a goldfish bowl just looking out at the streets. Lord, oh Lord. How are you supposed to eat this? I've got a sausage on a waffle. On a stick. And that one's actually chocker. And then this one here, this is I think it's called a peach black Danish. So it's got a charcoal Danish base to it. And Michelle, I've got you.